All right, in this tutorial, I'm gonna demonstrate how to import a vector image into the Tinkercad application to enhance your 3D models. Now, vector images are CAD files, but they're 2D files. So they're like clip art, logos, that type of thing that have to be created in a vector program, like for example, Gravit Designer or Adobe Illustrator. Once you have these vector files made, or if you find them online from a free site, uh, you can download vector files that are pre-made. You can then import them into Tinkercad to add this new level of complexity and detail. So I have my kind of concession stand here and I want this to be a hot dog stand. And I could grab the text tool and I could type hot dogs and I have a couple different fonts to pick from. And I could maybe use some basic shapes or even the scribble tool to try to draw a hot dog logo. But it's way easier to do that and I have access to more fonts in those vector programs. Once I've designed it, I very simply hit the import button up here and then I can select the file that I downloaded. So I have this hot dog clip art, gives you a little preview and you can scale it up or down but you can also just hit import and scale it after it imports. So here is my picture of hot dogs or a hot dog clip art. Now I should point out in the vector software that this was drawn in, this was a two-dimensional flat image. Tinkercad automatically adds a height of 0.9 to your imported, or I think it's actually a height of one or 10 or so, to your imported SVG image. So it actually added depth. And in Tinkercad, you can add more or less depth or use these to create holes, just like it was a 3D shape you drew on your own. I'm also gonna import uh, the word hot dogs that I drew with a much nicer font than I have access to in Tinkercad. There we go. We'll scale this down a bit. Do this next to our hot dog clip art image here. Just make these kind of proportional in size. It's looking pretty good. I think I'll actually grab another one of these and put it over here. Let's group this, make it white. And now I'm gonna make it fit on the front of my concession stand. Ooh. Scale it so it fits. Get it in place here, like so. Looks like I'm just gonna ungroup this real quick. And looks like my hot dogs are just a little bit thicker, like so. There we go. So now this is something that, as I mentioned, perhaps the font, I don't think this is possible to use the Tinkercad fonts. And perhaps you could have, if you had a lot of patience, uh, and time and skill, you could draw these hot dog logos with a scribble tool or something, but much easier to use vector images, import them, and then enhance your 3D model accordingly.